Hello teachers and students, this is Michelle Ludula. I'm one of the librarians here at the high school and I'm going to show you how to import an eight-day rotating schedule into your Google Calendar which you can then embed into any web platform including uh, Moodle or Google Sites or School Center even. In the email in which I sent you the link to this tutorial you also received a CSV file. Take that file save it to a place that you can locate it again in a few minutes because that's part of the process. So before we get started, do that. Then we're going to go to New Canaan High School Library website and we're going to click on the Google Apps wheel and we are going to sign in and we're going to choose calendar and here we are at our calendar page. Now you'll see that I have a lot of calendars over here. You won't have those yet. That's okay. We're going to click on the little carrot to the right of my calendars and create a new calendar. And we're going to call it whatever you want to call it. The Smith calendar. And you have an option at this point to share this calendar. If you want to embed the calendar so that students or parents or colleagues or whoever can or the whole world can read it you will need to make it public to the whole world which means that you share this calendar with others and you make it the calendar public it will not work as an embedded calendar unless you take that step and we're going to create the calendar and it's asking again do I want to make sure it's public you say yes great okay now what we're going to do is we're going to go to other calendars this is clunky and I'm not sure why but you would import a calendar and we're going to choose remember how remember how I'd suggested that you should save it somewhere where you can retrieve it this is the process so you're going to go find it and click open and now your CSV file is showing up there now this is the most critical step You'd want to put this on the calendar that you said you were going to put it on. It's very important that you change this to a different calendar. So we're going to make that D. Smith calendar because that's what I called it. And now you're going to click import. And you wait. Because there are 1,200 items that have to be imported. There we go. We have 1,242 items and they are successfully imported 712 events. We close this and ta-da! you have your calendar. So now all you want to do when you want to change an event is you click on that event and be sure to put your cursor after the the word or number that's already there so you don't change the the period and you can enter information. So you can say test on hook then and save it. And there it is. If you choose to undo what you just did, you can click undo and it will take it away. You can only undo one thing. So think about what you're doing before you move on to the next thing. All right. One of the things about this calendar, of course, is we hadn't anticipated a delayed start to the school year. So you will see that the schedule is a little bit sketchy for that the schedule for Tuesday, September 6th is not reflective of our altered schedule. I would have changed that on the CSV file, but we're not yet clear on exactly how that day is going to roll out. So that's our tutorial. I hope you liked it. I hope you find it helpful. And if you have any questions, please email me at lutz at nchslibrary.info.